you reached a point in your life where digital technology seemed to become disenchanted. It, it felt like it was making your life small, which is interesting because you've made a career writing about digital technology. As I grew up, as we got you know, more digital technology in our lives, smartphones and the internet came in, I felt a real shift that I think a lot of people have felt. Where technology becomes about consumption and about interruption. If you think in, in your life, how much of your time with technology might be taken up by Netflix, Spotify, or how many times your train of thought is interrupted during the day by texts, emails, notifications, pings on some kind of device. That was a real shift from what I experienced as a kid. In the words of the techies, things got frictionless. That's That's been a hot description of what people have been trying to do for years now, and they've largely succeeded. You know, unlike in the old days where everything was hard, things now are engineered to attract and addict. And I think of it a bit like the difference between baking your own cookies versus buying them from the store. Cookies are never going to be super healthy for you to consume in large quantities, but if you've got to do the work of making a batch of cookies, making the dough, baking them for 20 minutes, you're not likely to stuff your face with cookies all the time every day. When you can just add them to your shopping cart, they're pre-made, they're right there, they're ready to go. It's much easier to engage in unhealthy behaviors. I feel like the same way about technology. As it became frictionless, as it became easier, as companies really began pushing consumption. As the tech itself began to interrupt our lives in a bid to, you know, lure our attention, that it became somewhat unhealthy, at least for me. So I just found that so much of my attention, which is to say my life, was going toward these devices, toward these glass screens. It was safe, it was easy, it was entertaining, but I guess it all felt somewhat motionless. And given that life itself is motion, things began to feel perhaps a bit lifeless. Okay, so you're feeling lifeless thanks to the way digital technology has directed us towards more frictionless living. How did the German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche end up as your guide on how to navigate this frictionless, tech-saturated world. Uh, yes, sort of an unusual choice there. But my path in college, I majored in philosophy and had a real love for that sort of thinking and reading and learning. And I'd really let that go for quite a while. But in my, in my bid to sort of remedy some of these problems, I turned back to some of that. And Nietzsche was one of those figures who you know, you always hear about. You hear about him today. He's, he's the most memeable of the philosophers. He's a great quote machine. Oh, demons, be gone! Be gone, demons! Be gone! Leave this studio! Leave this planet!